What's up guys, Imran here, Monster Gadgets, and as you can see, I am back in my Model 3, and today we're going back to my testing parking lot where we're going to go ahead and test the automatic parking on the Model 3 Performance with the most recent update that just came out around Christmas time. So let's go ahead and dive into it. All right guys, welcome back. So as you can see, I am on my way here to the parking lot where I have previously tested the auto park feature on my Model 3 Performance. And with the most recent update, I figured, you know what, let's go ahead and retest and see if things have improved. If you have not checked out my previous videos and you wanna go back and take a look at them, they are of course on my channel. So feel free to make your way over to my videos and find the one that interests you if the parking one is the one you're looking for. And of course, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to my channel for Tesla videos, tech videos, and that type of stuff. All right, so here we are. We are in the parking lot, and um, we'll go ahead and do the automatic parking with the passenger side first. So again, we are here at Amazon Fresh, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull into one of these spots or lanes here and find a spot that's open that the computer will recognize that's a handicapped spot. But let's see if that picks that up. It did, which is good. But we're not gonna park there. We're gonna go ahead and see if there's another spot coming up here, if we're actually right here, if we can uh, have the car pick that one up and try to have it park. It did, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my brake on, hit park, shift to reverse, and start. As always, I have my foot right by the brake in case I need to take over um, just as a precautionary measure because I don't want to crash my car. So let's see how well it does here. And if you're wondering why my re regen braking is limited and my charge is 100%, well, 99% now, because uh, I will be taking a trip later today that requires me to have a little bit more charge since uh, I'll need to go the next couple days without trying to plug it in and charge and it did that really well. It is in line, it is complete, and it parked itself. So one for one, let's go ahead and uh, pull back out and um, let's see if we can do one on uh, the left side, the driver's side. to go ahead and I don't know if that's an actually a thing on the driver's side because you'll technically be driving in the opposite way but I'm gonna try it anyway so don't do, try this at home <laughs> because I don't think you're supposed to drive the opposite way to have a park but it did pick up so I'm gonna go ahead and try it you, again you wouldn't do this in the US because it's the opposite direction of flow traffic Obviously, we've got a car on this side, but no car on that side. So let's see here. And did a great job. This time it pulled up a little bit closer to the parking line in the back as the previous one it left a little bit of room but it was still within the parking spot so I would say two for two on this one. All right let's go ahead and go forward to the third test and in this one we're going to go ahead and try to find a spot right here that doesn't have cars nearby so it's just basically empty parking spots and uh, we'll see if we'll pick this one up. Picking up the one next to the car. I don't want her to pick that one. I think this will do it. Let's see. Park here. Reverse. Let's start. Mm -hmm. 
And again, this time there's no cars on either side, and it seems to be doing okay so far. Auto park complete, three for three. So far, so good. It has uh, definitely gotten better, I feel like. It's quicker from what I remember last time doing this test. And so we're three for three. Let's go ahead and uh, try a couple other ones. I'm gonna try to position the car in a weird way. Um, try to make it fail. So I want more traffic, more cars. So this won't do right now. So we'll find one area that's uh, how about this one? Let's see if we'll pick this one up since this is a corner spot. And uh, there's a car on one side, but not on the other side. I gotta be careful because there's traffic coming. And I did not pick that one up. So I'm just gonna let this car pass. And then we'll try again. I'll just pull up again. I don't think it's capable of picking that one up. So no, it's not. I'm gonna quickly just turn this way. I did not pick that spot up, and so that one, I don't want to call it a fail, but I guess it's a fail since it was an open spot. Alright, I'm going to see if this one gets picked up. Again, I'm doing kind of weird maneuvers, I'm not exactly aligned with the spot, but it did pick this one up, so let's try this one. I strained myself out, so when I strained myself out, it picked up, but when I was kind of going a little crooked, as you guys saw next to the car, hopefully you can see it with a super wide angle view. It didn't pick it up. It's getting awfully close. And there's a car in front here. But I'm still going to let it do its thing. This one's taking a little bit longer, as you can see. I wonder if that car, car threw it off. Now it backed up quicker. a bit crooked. It's going to straighten itself out. It is, it is. And yeah, it straightened itself out. It did well. So three for four. I'm going to still count that as a fail because that was a parking spot. Uh, we'll try again and see if it picks it up this time or not. Um, but I'm going to try it this way, actually. I'm going to try and see if I can, uh, if I was to go from this way and uh, pull up to the spot. Again, this would actually be illegal because I would be driving on the wrong side of the road. But nonetheless, uh, I'm going to try anyways. So here's the spot right here. Is it going to pick it up? And I'm driving straight. I'm not trying to do anything crazy. Oh, it did. Shift and reverse. Start. So there's no marking on this side. There is a curve. So this is making me, making me a bit nervous. I don't know how well it'll do. There is marking on this side. So let's see. So far, it's doing okay. taking a little bit longer as you can see and it has done it no markings on this side only part markings on this side and it parked well granted again I came the opposite direction but it still was able to park now, let's go ahead and uh, make our way over to the other parking area so we can go ahead and try parallel parking. All right, so we are back at Naperville Crossing now. This is where I previously tested the parallel parking. So we're gonna go ahead and test that out again here. And we've got a spot right here. So let's check and see if it'll pick up this spot. did not. I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse because there's cars behind me so they know that I'm trying to turn. And come on Tesla. Alright, I guess it's waiting for me. Mm. 
my manual test uh, in progress. And yes, I was able to parallel park in one try. <laughs> so that did not work. Um, let's go ahead and let this traffic clear and then uh, we'll try again. All right, so I did not pick up that spot. Let's keep going and uh, see if it'll pick up a different spot. So these technically are spots. If they're not parallel parked because there's no car in front of it, I don't think it'll pick those up. It does not. And now we'll have to find another car, I think, to park in between. Here's one right here. Let me just quickly see. Yep, I gotta get this. All right, guys, sorry about the interruption. Uh, this video won't be on till later, so I can say something that was actually um, my florist that I had set up arrangements for for our first wedding anniversary that we're going to celebrate this weekend. So I absolutely had to get that call because there's an arrangement I made for my wife. So she is surprised and happy. So anyways, maybe I'll share an image or two with you guys on that. So let me go ahead and turn around. Luckily that parallel spot is still open. So we'll go back and uh, see if we can park there, if it'll pick up. So here it is in between these Jeeps right here. So I'll go ahead and slow down and see if it'll pick up this spot. If it doesn't, I'm gonna try it with a turn signal on. It does. Okay, let's see. So that one I picked up, and this one is actually slightly on a curve. Oh, yikes. Oh, they're calling again, and this is gonna hit the thing. All right, let's try that again. That was a fail. It did not, it was gonna run into the sidewalk. That was getting way too close, plus the phone call came. So let's try again. I'm gonna pull up next to it. All right, let's see what it does. I was saying this is actually kind of on a curve, like it curves a little bit, so it's not your typical straight parking spot. So I'm wondering if that's throwing it off, but I just don't want to get curb rash on my worms. And yikes, ooh, that was close. But I didn't stop it, I, was, I almost did. Oh man, all right, I gotta hit my brakes. It That hit the curb, but hopefully it didn't, uh, it didn't uh, damage my rim, so I'll have to take a look at that and see. Um, all right. I didn't hear any grind, so I think it actually hit it with the wheel because it was turning forward. So let me go ahead and put it in reverse, and I'm just going to take it off if it's still on there. It briefly was, yeah. So as you can see, my steering wheel was turned, so it was okay. That was a fail on the parallel park. This car is leaving. It's probably wondering what the hell I'm doing, parking left and right, back and forth. Um, but let's go ahead and he was laughing actually. Uh, find another spot that we can try at. A couple spots on that side, but that's the opposite way. I'm not sure what you're doing there, lady. All right, let's see if we can turn around and try this side. That car is leaving, I think, so that'll open up that spot. And there's another spot on this side open, so let's get past all this traffic, turn around and try again. Another Model 3. All right, so oh, that car is turning here, of course. I 
I'm gonna let this car pass. Just so we can try to park in an upcoming spot. And there it goes. And oh crap, that car didn't leave yet. So there are no spots available on this side for us to try and park in, except this corner one, which again, I don't think it'll pick up. But we'll try and see if it does. There's no cars behind me. And it does not. All right. We'll make our way through the intersection and uh, see if we can park in one of these spots that might be available. So yes, there's a spot right here. I'm gonna turn my turn signal on. Park, reverse, start. All right, let's see how it does. This one is straight, there's no curve on this one. So hopefully it won't hit the curve like it did last time. And if it does come close, I'm gonna stop it because I don't wanna damage my rims. And it's doing better. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. I was cutting it close. And it has done it. So success with this one. Come on. Maybe? I don't know what it's doing. It's showing in progress, but it's not really doing anything. It's just kind of sitting here. Hmm. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit my brakes because at this point I don't know what it's trying to do, but it's still in reverse. And uh, it's not doing anything, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit my brakes. Let's go in here to zoom, let's see if it does anything. No, it's just stuck. So I'll go and hit park and let it park. And it's a lot of, okay. All right, so I guess one for one, um, that actually hitting the curve kind of, it, it's a huge fail. It should not have done that, it should, it should know better. But I guess the fact that this is straighter than the other one that was kind of on a slight turn, uh, that might have been why, but one for two on the parallel park. So hopefully you guys found this video to be helpful. I think overall it's an improvement from the previous ones. I feel like it's did it faster than the previous times that I've tested it. Um, so overall it's headed in the right direction. It's still not where it should be, but we'll uh, let future updates dictate that and uh, hopefully we'll get to a point where it is faster and more efficient and 10 out of 10 or 100% each time. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.